This is Missed Fortune Radio with New York Times best-selling author and your host, Doug Andrew. Well, let me talk about uh, three simple tests for determining what a wise and prudent investment is. I preached this now for 35 plus years as a financial strategist. I've talked about these three tests in all four of my best-selling books, uh, Missed Fortune, Missed Fortune 101, Last Chance Millionaire, Millionaire by 30. This is what I call the laser test. It stands for liquidity, safety, and rate of return. These are the three key elements for determining a wise and prudent investments. Number one, uh, can you get your money back when you need to get it back? In other words, is it liquid? Number two, uh, is it is it safe or guaranteed? In other words, uh, is the principal safe so that no matter what happens in the economy, you will not lose your principal? Because a lot of people, as I've been talking about, have lost 20, 30, 40, 50% on the value of their IRAs and 401ks during the last couple of years. And I've mentioned that uh, the people who follow the missed fortune strategies that I teach uh, did not lose. Uh, maybe they only earned one or 2% this last year, but now they begin to make money again uh, this year and they don't have to take, you know, three years, five years, 10 years just to get back to break even to where they were two years ago. Uh, And so like Will Rogers once said, people get more concerned about the return of their money rather than the return on their money when when times are tough. You know, when things are going great and we're having boom periods, you know, a lot of people just migrate over to, oh, I want the greatest returns I can get. I want to get 12, 15, 30% returns. Then all of a sudden when they lose 30%, every Everybody switches over and they they want safety. Well, do you know that you can have liquidity and safety without, you know, having your money at risk? You can make money when the economy is doing well, but not lose money or lose your principal when the economy goes down. And I teach all of these concepts in the webinars and the seminars and all the books that I'm going to share with you in a minute how you can learn more about what I'm talking about because on Misfortune Radio, I just can't go into it in great detail, even though I'm going to give you some great tidbits today. And so when we talk about liquidity, safety, and rate of return, in all of my books and in my webinars, I talk about the risk return paradigm. And I actually list 16 general categories of investments ranked from highest risk down to lowest risk. And I, I talk about the investments that don't pass the liquidity test. And in this webinar, you'll understand why we eliminate about a third of these investments because they're not liquid. You can't get your money when you need to get to it, especially during the, bu- the bus times, okay? Uh, Uh, The second test is the safety test. Those investments where you uh, are in jeopardy of losing your principal when the economy goes south. There's only a few investments that allow you to preserve your principal. You have safety of that so you don't lose when the economy goes down. So we eliminate about another third. Then when we get to the rate of return test, we eliminate about another third because they don't have a rate of return that's equal to or greater than the cost of, uh, of inflation and taxes and so forth. And so in in the webinars and seminars, in my educational books, we get down to three survivors. It's like, you know, the show Survivor. There's only maybe some annuities and and maybe some mutual funds and then investment grade or what I call maximum funded tax advantaged insurance contracts. Well, what are those? Well, I I teach that annuities are simply savings accounts with insurance companies. Uh, uh, They don't sometimes give the greatest return and they accumulate your money tax deferred, but it's not tax free. When you go to access your money, it's taxed and it's taxed life. Oh, that means last in, first day out. And if you don't understand what I mean, you need to attend this educational event and I'll teach you. But, it, you know, generally speaking, some annuities pass the liquidity safety rate of return test. Mutual funds, uh, maybe some do, but if you go into growth mutual funds, you, it, there might be some years you make 30%, other years you lose 30%. If you're lucky, you might average 8%, but then it's taxable. You'd have to be earning 12% to net 8% in most tax brackets. Do you know that I've averaged around 8 or 9 percent. Uh, and some years I, I've earned as high as, you know, 15 percent, 16 percent, 21 percent. But I do it safely that when the economy goes south, which I've told you during the, the, the bus times happen about every eight, 10 years, I don't lose. I, I still maintain safety of principle. I still earn one, two or three percent guaranteed. And when the economy turns around again, the moment it turns around, I start making money again. And that's only accomplished in an indexed strategy 
But I told you earlier, I put my money in investments that accumulate money tax-free, allow me to access my money tax-free, and when I die, it transfers tax-free. There's only one investment that does that, and that's a maximum tax-advantaged insurance contract. This is Missed Fortune Radio with Doug Andrews.